Welcome to another episode of Rotation Rotation. I am Paul, and with me today is Heather. Say hi, Heather. Hi, Heather. All right. See, Keith is not the smart one. Okay. <laughs> so uh, today uh, we are drinking two different types of Moscow mules. She's got a uh, handcrafted uh, Moscow mule, and I've got one in a can. It's the Monaco, Monaco Moscow mule. Uh, craft cocktail premium craft cocktail made with six times distilled vodka and ginger beer 9% alcohol by volume 12 ounce can it's the same uh, same people that did that blue blue one and if anybody's wondering what's going on with my arm under the table I'm petting the dog See, I'm petting I was petting the dog I was petting this naughty boy right here Sassy dog. Right? You done? Okay. He doesn't like being held. Anyway, today um, we are going to play with some stuff that um, we bought from the dollar stores. Let me pop this open. I haven't had this one yet. It tastes like a Moscow mule. Anyway, um, so I thought we bought some random stuff here, and uh, my thinking is, is any of this worth a dollar or two dollars? I think the most expensive was this transforming dinosaur mutant for two dollars and ninety cents. Um, I think we should do that one first. Well, I th we can do that one first, but what I want to do is I want to pop open the glow these um, these glow wands or whatever they are. Um, you can have the flower, and I'll take the axe. And these are a dollar each. Um, it's yellow. It says it lasts for hours, so I want to pop them open now uh, for ages three and over, and just see how well they work and if they'll be still running. This is supposed to be an axe. Oh, there's more in here. Oh. Look at that. So you... You have to crack it or something? Yeah, you'll have to crack it. And you'll crack it before putting that axe top on here. I think you have to crack it, yeah. It says, to activate, bend, snap, and shake. You're so supposed to hear, like, a snap? Yep, see? How come I won't? Oh, there we go. Wow, this is quite luminous, actually. We could turn the lights off. Could. All right, so uh, yeah, it looks uh, looks pretty legit. Um, what I can do is we'll see if they stay lit for the next, you know, twenty minutes or whatever. I, I'm, I'm thinking they would. I still got like a little piece in here. That there we go. You got like a little piece in here that's not quite... I think that's normal. Mine's at the top. You got one at the bottom though too. Yeah, I think that's probably... See, if you tip it upside down, you can see that piece right there. It's kind of... There we go. It's really... This is really thick. This is like thicker than the... Like the wiry ones that you get at the uh, carnival or the fireworks or parades or even the concerts for all you uh, EDM people out there. All right, so uh, yeah, it's the axe part's pretty sturdy, it's pretty thick. I'd have to say that um, it's amazing they can make these for less than a dollar. Imported by something I can't read in USA, Greenbrier International, Chesapeake, Virginia, but it's made in China. So it's made in China, it's sent to Canada, and then it's sent to Chesapeake, Virginia, and then it's distributed from there. Boy, that's, that's a crazy trip these make. So next up, 
We got the Dinosaur Mutants Transforming Dinosaurs. I should have bought maybe like two of each of everything, but... Now this... <coughs> There's number one. Uh, this is the... What is this? A triceratops? It's a Triceratops. It says collect all four. And I think they had this one and they had a T-Rex there or something. But they have a T-Rex, a Stegosaurus, an Iguanodon, and the Triceratops. Distributed uh, through Goodlitzville, Tennessee, made in China. Anyway, it says it's for three and older. This was uh, the 290. Uh, we got this at the uh, Dollar General. There's no age limit? Age limit? No. Oh, look at us. Just three and older, right? So, it's more packaging than needs to be for this thing, number one. Do something with it. Do something with it. Transform it. It kind of looks like an egg. It kind of does. Oh, it kind of looks like an egg with a with a wiener. <laughs> it, its tail is tucked underneath. It doesn't look. Shwing. Whoa. I suppose I should probably look at the picture. Am I going to spoil it if I do the whole thing? Or did you want to do some of it? No. Oh, I mean, how easy is it done? Yeah, I know. The, the back legs aren't done. The back legs aren't done? Oh, and they just got to fold out. Kind of... Kind. I mean, they don't really snap or click into place, but you can feel them kind of snug up a little bit. Um, Horns are kind of pointy. It could be dangerous. And you could poke some eyes out with this, that's for sure. But uh, it's very light. It's, I mean, obviously it, it tucks into itself here. Um, it's too big for mouths. It doesn't, I mean, if you tried real hard, you could probably snap some stuff off of here. But now let me try to figure out how this went, how this goes in. I already don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so that, this goes, head goes in, tail goes in, back legs fold in, wait, like that? Yeah? No? Yeah, I don't think you even need to do it in order, do you? I don't know, but this front leg is posing an issue. Can't, there we go. I think I already broke it. There's a piece coming off of here. Oh, it's just a... Extra. Something. This doesn't look like how it was, though. Am I missing something? Like when we took it out. Does it look like an egg? Well, were the, were the front legs like this? I believe so. This leg is broken. The one on the right, as he faces outward, is broken. I thought these. I thought this was more hidden. You think it's worth two fifty? Um well it's it was two ninety. Oh. And it said it was in and it was hanging in the I think it was hanging in the clearance. Right, so it would have been even more. Along with the gun. Um do I no, this should be like a dollar. This should, probably, this should probably be like a dollar, no more than a dollar. Um, I mean, it's, like I said, one of these legs is already like acting Well, I mean, weird. the dollar store, okay, if you got a dinosaur at the dollar store, you wouldn't be able to move it. It would just be like a plastic dinosaur. You right. know. So I guess maybe that's the benefit of getting a little more high-end plastic dinosaur. A little bit more high-end. It's definitely no uh, Transformers, but 
I guess it'll do. It's it's all right. It's it's not worth it's not worth almost three bucks. This is a little bit pointy, and it, it does as advertised. Though, um, how is it a mutant? Just because it can transform, it's a mutant. Like shouldn't it like have mutant powers or something? Well, that's where your imagination comes into play. <laughs> I don't have an imagination. <laughs> what kind of mutant powers would you give it? All right. Um, let's kind of skip around to something that's actionable here. Uh, bubble fun, bubble blower, or uh, also known as the pistol let a bull is. Uh, imported in the USA. Uh, oh, uh, through the same people. Oh, this is the exact same people that did the um, did the glow stick uh, X and stuff. Exact same address and everything. Um, so this should be this should be all right. Now this this was a dollar at uh, Dollar Tree. Six point nine fluid ounces of bubbles. All right. So, open the cap of the bottle. I'm working on it. Oh, there's another one. I need to. Uh, the axe. Well, the axe is broken. Well, no, it's not. It just it snaps it back into place. The axe did not work, by the way. Oh, got it. Oh, holy cow. Ages 42 and over. Hmm. I don't think I've ever had anything like this before. Back... Back in the day when I was a kid, we actually had to use a wand and use our breath and blow them. Yeah, you put a little bit in the cap, it says. And then... Probably put too much, but it's okay. Dip it's the fine. cap with bubble solution. Dip the cap. I think it means like dip this dip tip in, with it. Yeah. Hold the bubble blower horizontally and pull the trigger. Oh, I mean, it works. Well, so if you look at it, they're, they're, they're kind of doing it on an angle on that picture. So it's good for about two to three. So the first one was like three. That one was two. Hold on one second. Science, you need a third. You need a third go around here. So two, it was three and then two. Way better, I think, because you're holding it horizontally this time more. Wow, more. that was impressive. This, I think, it's a good deal for a dollar. Yeah, it would really keep little children occupied for. Oops, too hard. She already broke it somehow. <laughs> she broke the bubbles. Can we just do this for the rest of the time? No. Uh, do I get three? Sure. Or was that three? It doesn't matter. It lasts anywhere from two to like twelve. You're getting like three. But like, let's see what I see. Like, so. See, you do want to do this longer. You can like <laughs> shoot it at the dinosaur. But its mutant powers will shield it from. And then being he's touched. like, he's like, oh no, <laughs> I can't stand your bullshit bubbles anymore. I'm going to transform it. See, this leg is broken. It's going to snap off. Watch. Like, not on purpose either. Trying to, see? I did not do that on purpose. It already broke. Definitely, definitely this. And fixed. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, it does snap right back on, but. All right, now he's like in his shell, and it's like, I mutated into my shell. The bubbles cannot penetrate me any longer. How come I'm not getting... 
gonna like a whole bunch. Do it gently. Gently. So, <laughs> ooh. If you do it really gently, you could probably make a really huge bubble. Holy shit! This is awesome. <laughs> oh. That was cool. I love that. That is great for a dollar. We should have bought like 10 of those. Alright, so should I pour the rest back in? Oh, you're done playing with it already? Alright. So For now. For now. I'm definitely going to play with it later. So I might be the only one that does this. It's not really a toy, but you know how kids are with lip balm? They like uh, lip balm and chapstick and all that kind of crap, right? So um, they had a whole rack of like different flavored lip balms based upon actual like I, IPs of sodas and, and candies and stuff like that. So um, me being a Mountain Dew person, I'll hold the Mountain Dew. they had the regular Mountain Dew. And then they had Baja Blast, which everybody likes Baja Blast. Uh, directions for safe application. Apply smoothly and evenly to lips. Not to be eaten. I'll apply it on your lips. Avoid the... Uh, avoid the eye area for external use only. Do not stick in anus. If you do, discontinue if rash, redness, or itching occurs. Consult your physician if irritation persists. Ages eight and up with parental supervision. It says nothing about the anus. I'm just throwing that in there. Um, it's, of course, made in China. But it actually is, uh, it's, it's manufactured and distributed by Taste Beauty LLC in New York. And it is licensed uh, from Pepsi. So I want to see. Okay, pucker up. Well, now hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me try to figure out. Let me. Let me. I want to smell both of them to see. First of all, here's the Baja Blast. I'm gonna see if it smells. <laughs> it okay. it kind of does. It smells like Mountain Dew. That's let for sure. Let me see if that one smells. It smells like a, like a fruitier Mountain Dew. You hold it to my nose and I'll hold it to your nose. <laughs> that does not smell like Mountain Dew. This one kind of does. That one smells like a crayon. I don't know. I can't describe the smell, but it's kind of waxy. So, you probably don't know what either of these really taste like, do you? Especially Baja Blast. I don't think you probably I ever had, had a Baja, Baja Blast. Some. It's not my favorite. Well, um, are you, you going to try one? Can you try? A, a, I'm going to put it on you. Well, I'm, I'm wondering. Okay. On, probably. All right. Well, let's do the Mountain Dew first. Am I getting enough on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. It's uh, it's like if you took a crayon and put a little bit of citrus in it. Does it taste like Mountain Dew? No. It tastes like makeup. I mean, it does. I think it's, I think uh, as far as this goes, uh... I would probably prefer still like a cherry chapstick over over the Mountain Dew. It's 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 just not doesn't taste like Mountain Dew to me. All right. Can you smell it while you're wearing it? <laughs> Without trying. <laughs> no, not really. Okay. All right, Baja Blast. Do you have to? Let's get that off of there. This is better. The Baja Blast is better than the regular Mountain Dew. However, 
this tastes more like now that I now that I'm I can kind of I got it going on there. This tastes more like an orange push-up, actually. So it still has that citrus, but more like an orange. Baja Blast doesn't have any orange in it. Um, That's good. It's, uh, Baja Blast it has uh, lime, if I'm not uh, mistaken. So. Um, so I think that's where that citrus comes from. It's probably the lime, but it's got like a, it's kind of got like an orange taste. I'm like, I'm, I'm tasting the, like the old fashioned push-ups, the orange push-ups, the polka dots on it. Um, so is it a tasty lip balm? The Mountain Dew Baja Blast? It is. I do recommend it. However, um, and I got a Baja Blast. I should just go get a Baja Blast and open it up and, but I know I'm not going crazy. It does not taste like Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Neither of these, to me, in my opinion, tastes like Mountain Dew. But if you're going to want to try any of the two, uh, the Mountain Dew Baja Blast, uh, I think it's I think it's worth a dollar if you like orange push-ups. All right. And if your lips are dry. And if your lips are dry, remember keep it out of your ass. Okay. Um, I'm gonna save the, the that gun for last. Um, we should do it outside, right? No, no, we can do it in here. Okay, I thought it made smoke or something. It will a little bit. All right. Uh, this was two dollars. It is the Squish Pets, and it says Crunch Crunch, Splat, Sticky and Stretchy. Uh, two styles. I don't know what the two styles means. Um, it does say Collect All Two. This was like the only one package I thought I saw, otherwise I would have bought both of them. Um, and this is the same distributor and all that crap as the Transformer Dinosaur. So I'm getting kind of a, a theme here. It seems as if though the stuff from Dollar General gets their shit from the same place. Which I guess kind of makes sense. Um, all right, and so. from there too, right? That is. So we'll find out. We'll find out we'll if that, we got the trifecta. Keep you in suspense about that one. Uh, it is not a food. Do not eat or chew this. Um, do not pull on pet <laughs> when stuck to surface or pet may tear. Allow pet to release by itself. It sounds like something we probably don't want to get on the carpet. Warning, may stain rubber, painted walls, fabrics, wallpaper, wood surfaces. Keep away from heat. So basically... Don't put it anywhere. Don't... Take it out of the package. Uh, so you're supposed to toss it at a smooth, slick surface, and then you're supposed to watch it splat and then reform. So I think this table might be good enough for that. I was going to see if we can splat it at a wall, but I don't want to do that anymore. All right, so there's like a little tear thing here. Oh. Can I get the first splat? Is that? I think that oh, it's already like sticky as soon as I open it up. It's like a like a goo. It's I like a goo. It's got um. It's got like one of those like foamy things inside. It's really it's really like gross feeling. It is sticky, like those you know those hands that you throw at the wall. Right. It's like that type of sticky. So just so throw it down. So slam it on the table. I might have to stand up for this. <laughs> oh, I don't think I did it hard enough. Landed in the bubbles. Okay. Now. I expected it to go more. It's oh. supposed to reform. Unless it already thinks it reformed because it ain't doing shit. Don't pull it if it sticks to a surface, it said. <laughs> well, it's not sticking. Um, okay. How about... Maybe the bubbles... To How about I just... Nope, that didn't do anything either. Just smashed the shit, ever the living shit out of it. I mean, it's not really staying in a... Splat. 
splatted. In a splatted form long enough to actually, like, you would expect it to be like a, um, oh, what's, what am I thinking of? Um, where, like, you can squish it and then it, like, just takes a while to, I'm trying to think of, think of it. I can't think of it. Um, this, this is shitty. I think maybe And it stinks. Like Oh, uh, these are like, um, like little, uh, styrofoam beads inside. I thought it was like one whole solid thing, but it's not. They're all separate. Uh, I think this... It's kind of cute. I mean, it, it kind of is. I probably want to keep this on the dashboard of your car. In the sun. Uh, the, the eyes and the nostrils and the mouth are pretty much, I mean, they're like painted on. They don't come off or anything. Oh, I thought they were stickers. No. No, they're like, they're on there really good. I'm trying to peel them off or something and they're not coming off. Um, but it's like, I'm going to throw it at a door. <laughs> I missed the door. Throw it at the door again. Okay, it's sticking to the door. And now it fell off already. So. But that was more fun than throwing it at the table. I guess. But I mean, it's stuck, but it kind of stuck in its already like regular form. It didn't like mush like it shows that they do. Like it is. Flat. It is like flat on this, <laughs> on the back of this package. So. False advertising. Um. Yeah, I wouldn't pay two bucks for that though either. I mean, I already did. <laughs> so far, the two, like, really good things have come from Dollar Tree, which is the bubbles and these uh, glow sticks. Dollar All right. Tree. All right. It's, and the stuff that has sucked so far. Well, no, actually, well, this came from... Dollar Tree. These came from Dollar Tree, too, and I would recommend 50% of these, so... So far, Dollar Tree for an actual dollar <coughs> is winning. For the win. All right. So this is from Dollar General. Two dollars thirty-five cents on clearance. A Wild West Outlaw Cat Pistol. And uh, guess what? I just realized something. It says it uses roll caps. Ooh, we could like. But use guess it. what? We could play Westworld. The roll caps aren't included. Oh, it's not? Are you sure? Yes. They're it just says that right there on the back. Back there somewhere? Oh, well, we'll have to shoot it without. So, um, I clearly remember when I was a kid buying these that there was always a roll stuck in here. Me too. So that's shitty that they sell these, and there definitely wasn't any roll caps uh, sitting next to them. So, man, Dollar General is just... Not having a good day today, but um, we might have to find out where we can even buy roll caps because I don't know where to buy roll caps. Probably do uh, Dollar Tree. Uh, probably Dollar Tree <laughs> for a dollar. With a gun. Um, but I mean, it looks and feels just like they used to, and then you put the roll in there, cock it, and then it would snap on the roll on every every one you do the roll feed through there um i mean for two dollars and 35 cents i mean this is a it's pretty sturdy it just should come with at least one small roll of fucking roll caps and guess where it's from it is from China. it does not say <laughs> oh here on the front well, it's from China, uh, but it's distributed through Jaru in Jacksonville, Florida. So it does not match the other ones. Now, on clearance for $2.35, I mean, is, is this alone with two thirty-five? Sure, but I mean, it just, I really wish it came with some freaking roll caps. So I might have to find some roll caps and then bring this into another video at some point. Um, but I mean, it feels, it feels nice. It's nice and sturdy and the the trigger and yeah that's all metal yeah it is pretty 
sturdy. Feels high quality. Yeah. So, but pack in some goddamn roll caps. All right. Uh, well, that was it. Uh, you know what? Let's revisit these. That and that. And the lights back on. The gun. The mutant transforming dinosaur. The bubbles. Uh, this is. St they're still lit up and going. Going strong. Um, so. If I were to recommend anything, I would recommend that if it came with the, the roll caps. I think, I think even for two dollars thirty-five cents, that's pretty good. Um, but because there's no roll caps, I'm, I'm still kind of upset about that. The bubbles are freaking awesome. The bubbles, you know what? You do like a Fourth of July thing. Go to Dollar Tree and get these the this little gun with the bubbles for a dollar, and get like a bunch of these for a dollar. And they had other uh, more typical glow stick type stuff there for a dollar as well. Um, I just never seen any of these things so thick before. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think Dollar Tree is really, you know, they got some, they got some decent stuff for a dollar. And I would recommend the bubbles and the glow sticks and the Baja Blast lip balm that doesn't taste like Baja Blast, but it still tastes pretty good. I'd recommend, I think the bubbles would be great for like a mom who's on quarantine with like a bunch of little toddlers and you know she can go out and blow bubbles for her kids in the backyard and have them run around and chase them. Um, probably that's it. Maybe these if you know, you're going to one of those events where they're going to be selling glow sticks and you know your kids are going to be like, yeah, you can buy save, me a glow stick. Yeah, you can save me. like five bucks off a glow stick by just buying them for a dollar. <laughs> Break, pack them and, you know, say, hey, I bought you one. Here you go. So, yeah. That was fun. And then get them the Mountain Dew Baja Blast for their chap lips, too. So, all right. So, um, these are all the little toy things that we're going to be testing today. And um, we'll do another one of these hopefully in the future. And like I said, I'm going to find, I'm going to be on a mission to find some roll caps and... I will uh, test this out in a future video. So, um, like, why don't you leave a comment on this? Is it like a repeat uh, toy at a certain dollar store that you guys buy often? You know, let us know. So, but uh, that'll be it for today, and uh, catch you guys later.